Magandang araw sa inyo. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay mathematical modeling using the algebraic method. So ito po ay n partial sum. Ang ating example for today is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube until the n cube term. So ang hinahanap po natin ay ang kanyang n partial sum o yung ating mathematical model. So sa method na ito, gagamit po tayo ng linear model, quadratic model, cubic model, quartic model, or the polynomial model. Papaliwanag ko po kung kailan ito magagamit later on, depende po sa kalalabasan ng ating procedure. So ang first step po ay mag start po tayo sa unang term. If n is equal to 1, then ang kanyang partial sum ay syempre the sum of the first term which is equal to 1 cube or 1. If n is 2 naman, that would be the sum of the first two terms. So that is 1 cube, 1 plus 2 cube, 8, that is equivalent to 9. If n is 3 naman, that's the sum of the first three terms, ang ating n partial sum ay 36. If n is 4, ang sum ng first four terms ay 100. If n is 5, Ang sum ng first 5 terms ay 225. At if n is 6, the sum of the first 6 terms is 441. So sa method po na ito, kukunin po natin ang difference ng bawat partial sum. So mag start po tayo sa difference ng 9 and 1. And that would be equal to 8. And then difference din po ng 36 and 9 is 27. Difference ng 136, that would be 64. Difference ng 2 to 5 and 100, that would be 125. And then, ang difference ng dalawang number na ito ay 216. Now, kailan po nagagamit ang linear model? Ginagamit po natin ang linear model kapag sa unang pagkuha po ng difference ay pare-parehas po yung difference. In our case, hindi po siya pare-parehas ng difference, kaya hindi po po pwede ang linear model sa example na ito or sa problem na ito. So, we go to the second difference. Ito, aasahan natin na quadratic ito, ang ating model kapag ang difference ng bawat pares ay pare-pareha. So, tignan po natin. The difference of 27 and 8 is 19. 64 and 27 is 37. 1, 2, 5 and 64 is 61. 216 and 125 is 91. Unfortunately, hindi siya pare-parehas so hindi po natin magagamit ang quadratic model. Same with the linear model. So, we now go to the third difference. Under this third difference, kung nagkataon na pare-parehas po ang difference ng bawat pares, ito po yung ating magiging model. So, let's see that. 37 minus 19 is 18. 61 minus 37 is 24, and 91 minus 61 is 30. So, obviously, hindi naman na siya pare-parehas ang difference. So, ibig sabihin, hindi rin po po pwede yung ating cubic model. Okay, so let's have the next level, yung pang-fourth na difference. Kapag naging pare-parehas na ito, then we are left with the quadratic or the quartic model. So, 24 minus 18 is 6. 30 minus 24 is 6. So, kung hindi pa rin convincing, pwede tayong maglagay dito ng S7. And if you follow the same procedure, I bet 6 pa rin po ang lalabas sa ating fourth difference. So, umabot po tayo sa ating fourth case. Ibig sabihin, ang ating model po ay quartic model. Ito po ay A, N raised to 4 plus B, N cubed plus C, N squared plus D, N plus E. Now, notice na lima po ang ating arbitrary numbers, A, B, C, D, E. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung values ng A, B, C, D, at saka E, kailangan natin ng 5 equation. So, parang systems of linear equation in 5 unknowns po ito. So, i-generate po natin yung limang equation na yon by using the same solution kanina, if n is equal to 1, then the nth partial sum of the first term is 1. Isa-substitute po natin ito sa ating quartic model. So, ang sn natin ay 1. At lahat ng n values po dito ay papalitan natin ng 1. So, ganito po yung itsura. That's our first equation. For our second equation, if n is equal to 2, then the sum of the first two terms is 9. Isubstitute din natin sa ating quartic model. So, ganito po yung kalalabasan. 
That's our second equation. Our third equation, if n is equal to 3, its partial sum is 36. So, we substitute din natin ito sa ating quartic model. Ito po yung kalalabasan. This is now our third equation. And then, if n is equal to 4, the sum of the first four terms is 100. Substitute again to our quartic model. And this is now our fourth equation. If n is 5, the sum of the first five terms would now be 225. So, substitute n equals 5 at saka sn is equal to 225. Then, ito po yung ating fifth equation. So, meron na po tayong limang equation. I-set up na po natin ang ating plano. So, para makuha natin ang bawat values ng A, B, C, D, E. So, by elimination, ipaparis natin si equation 1 and 2. Eliminate natin ang E, E variable. So, that would become our equation 6. We pair up 2 and 3. Eliminate natin ang E. Yun yung ating magiging equation 7. Same with 3 and 4, palalabasin natin sa equation 8. And then, equation 4 and 5, eliminate natin si E, lalabas ang ating equation 9. Yan. Eliminate naman natin ang D, i-pair up natin ang 6 and 7, lalabas ang equation 10. Pair up 7 and 8 to eliminate D, lalabas din ang equation 11. Same with equation 8 and 9, eliminate D, lalabas ang ating equation 12. Next, pair up natin ang 10 and 11, that would be our equation 13. Then, pair up 11 and 12, eliminate C, lalabas yung ating equation 14. So, dalawa na lang po at this point, eliminate natin ang B variable, lalabas ang ating equation 15. At this point, yung equation 15 natin, ito na po yung value ng A. So, pag sinimplify natin ang equation 1, ganito po yung kalalabasan. Equation 2, isimplify din natin ang mga powers natin. That would be 16A plus 8B plus 4C plus 2D plus E. Same with equation 3, lahat ng powers, 3 raised to 4, 3 raised to 3, 3 raised to 2. Same with equation 4 and equation 5. Masisimplify po lahat yan. Ganyan po ang kalalabasan ng ating limang equation. So we are now ready to eliminate every variable. Step by step po tayo. Okay, so ito po yung ating limang equation. Ipares natin ang equation 1 and 2. So meaning, equation 2 minus equation 1, nalabas si equation 6. So pag ginawa po natin yon, meron tayong 9 minus 1 is 8, 15 minus 1 is 15, 8 minus 1 is 7, 4 minus 1 is 3, 2 minus 1 is 1. Then E minus E is 0. So ito na po yung ating equation 6. Next is i-pair up naman natin ang equation 3 and 2. Lalabas ang ating equation 7. So that 36 minus 9 is 27. 81 minus 16 is 65. 27 minus 8 is 19. 9 minus 4 is 5. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then E minus E is 0. Ganon din po ang mangyayari dito sa ating equation 3 and 4. Pag pinair up natin yan, lalabas si equation Eight. Ganon din si equation 4 and 5, we pair them up. Equation 5 minus equation 4, lalabas din si equation 9. Okay? So, if you want to double check, pwedeng i-post ang video para makita po kung tama yung ating solution. Next, we focus on this remaining equation, 6, 7, 8, 9. Tanggalin natin ang D. So, we pair up 6 and 7 para lumabas si equation 10. So this one, 27 minus 8 is 19, 65 minus 15 is 50, 19 minus 7 is 12, 3 minus 2 is 2, and then D minus D is 0. Ayun. And then we pair up 7 and 8. Equation 8 minus 7, ito po yung kalalabasan. And then finally, equation 9 minus 8, lalabas po yung ating equation 12. So we pair these two equations. We subtract, and this is the result. Okay? So, napalabas natin ang ating equation 10, 11, and 12. So, we work on with the remaining equations. Yan, malapit na. Pair this up. Equation 11 minus equation 10, lalabas sa equation 13. So, if we subtract that, ito po yung ating result. Equation 12 and 11, we pair them up. We subtract equation 11 from 12. Ito po yung kalalabasan. 61 minus 37 is 24. 194 minus 110 is 84. 24 minus 18 is 6. 2C minus 2C is 0. Okay? So, lastly, palabasan natin yung equation 15 by pairing up 14 and 13. So, that's equation 14 minus 13. 
Pag pinag-subtract natin yan, 24 minus 18 is 6. 84 minus 60 is 24. 6B minus 6B is 0. So if we simplify A, this is equal to 6 over 24 or 1 fourth. Now, since we already have the value for A, substitute po natin ito sa equation 13 or 14 to get the value of B. So in that case, I'll choose 13, equation 13. Substitute A, which is 1 fourth. Ito po yung kalalabasan niya. 60 divided by 4 is 15. And then 18 minus 15 is equal to 3. Simplifying B, it's equivalent to 1 half. Now, substitute A and B sa ating equation 10, 11, or 12. Pipiliin ko po yung 10 kasi mas maliit yung mga numbers niya. Ito po yung aking equation 10. I-substitute ko ang A and B. Ayan. And then simplify the fractions. So I have 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then 19 minus 6, I have 13. Tinranspose ko din ang 50 over 4 sa left side. And then 13 is the same as 52 over 4. They have now the same denominator. So 52 minus 50 is 2 over 4. And if you simplify this, that is 2 over 8 or simply 1 fourth. So meron ka ng value ng C na 1 fourth. Okay, so yung itatlong ito, ABC, substitute natin sa equation 6 or 7 or 8 or 9. In my case, I'll choose 6 kasi yung mas maliit ang numbers na i-manipulate. So that is equation 6. Substitute ABC. Ayan, substitute na. And then, just simply get the common denominator. Ayan, so 15 over 4 plus 14 over 4 plus 3 fourths. Combine now the numerator, you have 32. And 32 over 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 would be 0. So therefore, D is equal to 0. And finally, itong apat na ito, A, B, C, D, substitute mo sa equation 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. Pipiliin ko ang equation 1 kasi may pinaka maliit na numbers ng kanyang coefficients. So pag sinubstitute ko lahat, ayan po, nailagay na lahat. Get the common denominator, yung 4, 2, 4. I have 1 fourth plus 2 fourth plus 1 fourth. This is equivalent to 4 over 4 or simply 1. Transpose it to the other side, I have 0. So therefore, E is equal to 0. So, i-substitute natin lahat ang values ng A, B, C, D, E sa ating quartic model. So, that is S, N is equal to A, N, 4, plus B, N raised to 3, plus C, N raised to 2, plus D, N plus E. And you have these values. Note that this is already equivalent to 0. So, yan na lang po yung natira. Therefore, 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus N cube, no? yung ating N term. Is now equivalent to 1 fourth n raised to 4 plus 1 half n cubed plus 1 fourth n squared. Or, pwede rin nating isimplify itong right side na ito. It's equivalent to this. The square of the quotient of the product of n and n plus 1 and 2. So, this is the algebraic method of modeling patterns. So finally, we got the mathematical model of 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus until the n term, which is n cube. Comment down below kung may mga question at may mga gustong ipasolve. We'll try to do it if we have time. Thank you for watching.